Hello fellow YouTube creatures, I am Purple Fox back with another Apex Legends video. So today's video we will discuss how you could become a better PC player in Apex as a top notch controller player. Since you've searched this, I'm guessing you're playing on PC lobbies and you're using controller. And you're struggling because you're going up against sweaty TTV race on PC on mouse and keyboard and you're wondering why. Can I not kill these guys? Have no fear. The sweaty TTV Wraith on PC can be defeated. I will show you how. After studying the YouTube algorithm, how it works on my hiatus, I want to do a community goal. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. And if we can, I will do a thousand Apex coin giveaway to one of the lucky subscribers. So be sure. And if you're not already, subscribe, like, comment down below, and let me know so this YouTube, YouTube can get the algorithm bumping and we can really see if my studies have worked in the right way. But enough said, let's get right into the video. So here we are in firing range, and what I'm going to do is we're going to start with setting, and then I want to talk a little bit about um, combat and in-game difference that I've seen between PC and console lobbies, and then also playing on controller and what I found much advantageous compared to playing on controller to mouse and keyboard. And then a few different things on just keeping it simple because the game itself hasn't changed. The input itself, if you're playing on controller, it's still playing on controller. Keeping it simple and not really overthinking it a whole lot is, is really what's important. So let's start with my settings. So a few things that I changed with my settings is I've always had advanced look controls. Um, so going into that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a video here going into the future about my advanced look controls and really digging deep into them. But one thing that I want to cover is that I increase or I decrease my dead zone so I have better response on my joysticks and, my, and I decrease my response time. So even though I will have more of a twitchier kind of feeling to my aim, it allows me to have more control over it. So getting used to this, this twitchiness is okay. It's going to be awkward at first, but you get used to it. But mainly what I want to focus on is yaw speed and ADS yaw speed. And the reason for yaw speed is horizontal left and right movement. And this is important because there's a lot of horizontal left and right movement when it comes to tracking and tracing, tracking other players in Apex. And what this does is I have this higher on my PC than I do on my console and that's for both ADS and hip fire and the reason for that is because people on mouse and keyboard specifically like the keyboard in general their movement they're able to strafe they're able to strafe much more effectively and much easier in my opinion when it comes to playing on a keyboard compared to a controller and that means that they can move quicker essentially at that point they can strafe quicker back and forth and so I found myself really lagging behind players whenever they were strafing and so i increased my yaw speed i increased my yaw speed i'm actually continuing to increase my yaw speed but i kind of found i think i found a sweet spot in this area where i'm at now i you know i guess 70 to 75 percent of the way up um i know a lot of people like it up all the way um it does get really tricky it's really fast but you must must get used to it and just practice it don't get frustrated Stay focused. If you increase it a little bit here and there, you'll get used to it. You'll get used to the finer movements, but you must practice. Go in a firing range and run through a, a simple drill. Um, I will be posting a YouTube video on what I do to warm up in the firing range. So follow that. Check out that video, and you know, you'll be able to get used to that much, much quicker than you ever would be able to um, by just tr you know, simply giving up on it. So. With that being said, what I want to talk about is mid-range gunfights versus close-range gunfights. And what I've noticed versus playing on PC lobbies to playing on console lobbies is a person on a mouse seems to be much more advantageous in close-range combat than they are in than they are in, in mid to long range. So long range, it depends on the gun, in my opinion. So if a person have a has a mouse is on a mouse and keyboard and they have a charge rifle, they are so much better. But I feel like with with using the aim assist 
to your advantage on a controller because it's at a 1.4 ratio of aim assist to not having no aim assist on a mouse. Use this to your advantage whenever you're playing in lobbies and stay out of mid range. Stay 30 to, to 20 to 30 meters away from a, uh, an opponent if you can and fry them with a 301. Fry them with the hemlock. The hemlock just got the hemlock just got a, a nerf. It takes 20 damage instead of 22 damage now. And guess what? It still fries. Like it got, it, it has no difference. Let that sucker fly. Stay in mid range. Use the aim assist while you're getting used to that new sensitivity being higher, the new response curve being more twitchy. I wanted to join the YouTube video. <laughs> but last but not least, let's just keep it simple. All you got to do is focus on recoil control in the firing range, finding the right sensitivity that's going to fit you. Like I said, I like to bump it up a little bit more than I would on console just because of the tracking and tracing, er, and tracing players while they're moving. But you must, you can't set it too high. If it's not going to, if it's, if it's, if it's not comfortable for you, then it's not going to work. Just because it doesn't work the first time doesn't mean that it's not comfortable. There's a difference between the two. So find your comfortability. Find a sensitivity that you feel is going to be high enough that you're going to be able to track and not lag behind players. But then you're also still going to be able to hit your shots when it comes time. Because that's what's most important is finding when you're going to hit, how you're going to hit your shots. Keep it simple. The game is still the same. You're still playing on a controller. You're still going to be cracked out. Confidence is key. Stay strong, stay mentally strong, stay focused on your rotations, and stay with your team, and you will definitely kill the TTTV sweaty wraith that is always chasing after you. You'll be that one to be the sweaty TTTV wraith murderer. So now that we have everything wrapped up, settings, the close range to mid range, use aim assist. We're smarter as a player on controller. We understand what's going on. Keep it simple, stupid. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of endgame I have with Crypto. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you think of the Season 7 and the Fight Night event. Do you think that the uh, Gibby Heirloom is even that great? I, I really don't. But let me know what you think down below. Uh, and be sure to comment and stay tuned. And subscribe and hit the bell notification so you catch the next Inside right here? There's a team right here, team back here. Team over here. Push under here, push it behind us, push it behind us. On my ping, on my ping, on my ping. Inside here. One team here. One team back here. That's two. And another team over here. That's three and then us. Okay. Whatever you're doing there, Rev, you should not do that. <laughs> yeah, I guess you need it. If you need it, you need it, I guess. I don't know. Right here? Oh, unless that was you. Right here. Down. One right here, he's low, he's low, he's low, he's one shot. Right, right here, right here, right here. Two right here, two right here. Don't push, don't push, don't push, don't push. What are you doing? Get back up here. Race one. She's cracked, she's cracked, she's cracked. Horizon's cracked. Push us now, push us now, push us now. Dead. Get the out of my game, bro. Great job.